scientific method vocabulary. Objective number one. I can define the vocabulary associated with the scientific method. And objective two. I can identify the three types of variables, control, independent, and dependent, in different situations. Turn to page two in your workbook. It should say notes. Fill out the date for today, and then the title is Scientific Method Vocabulary. On the first line below the title, please write Scientific Method. The scientific method is a step-by-step -step process that scientists use to answer questions and solve problems. Please hit pause and copy the definition. Now skip a space and write hypothesis. A hypothesis is a possible answer to your question. It's written in an if-then form, which we will practice quite a bit this month. Please hit pause and copy the definition for hypothesis. Skip a space and then write the word procedures. Procedure is a detailed list of the steps you will follow and the supplies you will need. Please hit pause and write the definition of procedure. Skip a space after procedure's definition and write control or constant. You will see it written as either. Sometimes the question asks for the control and sometimes the question asks for constant. The control or constant includes everything that remains the same during an experiment. There usually are more than one control in an experiment. Please hit pause and copy the definition for control or constant. Skip a space again and write dependent variable. A dependent variable is what is measured in an experiment and it responds to the independent variable. You tend to find the dependent variable asked in the question or written in the hypothesis. Please hit pause and copy the definition for dependent variable. Now skip a space again and write independent variable. The independent variable is the variable that is changed during an experiment. There is only one independent variable in an experiment. Please hit pause and copy the definition for independent variable. Make sure to put a star next to this. We always identify the independent variable first. Never begin identifying the dependent variable or the constants first. Always find out what is changed first. So please uh, hit pause and copy that um, asterisk note. So now we're just going to write numbers next to the order in which we're going to identify these every single time. We always identify the independent variable first, what's changed. So we're going to put number one. And then we always next find what is measured. Remember, that's usually in the question or the hypothesis. So let's put number two. And last but not least, we figure out all the things that stayed the same in the experiment. And there's going to be more than one. So let's put a number three. So now turn the page to page three. And at the top, you're going to write the title, How Much Time Does It Take for Seeds to Germinate Under Four Different Conditions? Hit pause so you can copy that. So here's our situation. Four bean seeds were placed in each of four pots. Each pot contained 100 cubic centimeters of soil. All four pots were placed in the same sunny windowsill. A different amount of water was placed in each pot. Always make sure you read the paragraph with the information as well as looking at the diagram. So we have the windowsill, we've got the picture of the pots with the four seeds in them. You can tell they're in soil and it even tells you how much water below each pot each pot is receiving. So you do not need to write what's down in black. So it says identify the changed, well, they also will say or manipulated variable first. This is the independent variable. So what is being changed for our bean seeds? Look in the paragraph, look in the picture, and it does not need to be in a complete sentence. So write on workbook page three, number one, independent variable, and then identify what is being changed or manipulated in this experiment and write it down. 
Now skip a space after you wrote number one independent variable along with your answer. All right, write number two dependent variable. So next we need to figure out what will be measured. So this is the dependent variable. So what will be measured with our bean seeds? Remember, look at the hypothesis or look at the question. So what are we measuring with our bean seeds? It's going to be different than our independent variable that we wrote for number one. So take a moment and write your answer for what is being measured for number two, the dependent variable. After number two, the dependent variable, skip a line and write number three, control or constant, because you'll see it written both ways. So lastly, we need to make sure we have a controlled experiment. We have to have all the other variables stay constant, also known as the same. These are the controlled variables. So what stays the same for our bean seeds in all four situations? You can look at the paragraph at the top, or you can also look at the picture. Remember, there's going to be more than one constant or control. So take a moment and write as many controls or constants you can identify in this experiment with the bean seeds. Now let's check our work and see how we did with the uh, bean seed experiment. So for our independent variable, it would be the amount of water that's given to all four pots of the bean seeds. If you made a mistake, grab a red pen from Mrs. Cole and correct your answer. That's okay, this is our first real practice. For number two, the dependent variable, what's being measured, it would be the amount of time it takes for the seeds to germinate, which I found in the paragraph at the top, but also in the question that was posed to us. So if you um, made a mistake, grab the red pen from Mrs. Koval and correct your answer. And for number three, the control or constant, there are a few of them. One of them is the size of the pots. They all are the same. Each of the four pots contained 100 cubic centimeters of soil. They all were in the same sunny windowsill. Each pot contained four bean seeds. Those are the four constants or controls that Mrs. Cole was able to identify from the paragraph at the top and from the diagram below. If you made a mistake, grab a red pen from Mrs. Colville and fix or add to your answers.